It's me, Maya Shepchak, and welcome to another Do or No Friday. Today we'll be trying with this seashell to make a doll for the base. I had these Dream Bella dolls, they are color reveal, I've tried to take the head off for this to give it a more poseable body. Easier said than done but managed to get it done. I had her for experiments and that's the perfect one to be experimenting with today however she needs a body okay this took me a while i had to pierce holes in the head for the wire so she can move her head i wanted this to look good so I thought she would look weird without a neck so I gave her a neck out of a bead added white acrylic paint all over the body and colored it with dark brown markers and she features a torso joint I know it looks a bit weird but clothing should cover it up But maybe with the right tools and with the right accessories it will look good. Keep on watching. But at least I know the dream Bella doll heads. If I want to use them it's like this. And there are some comparisons. Cora and Nicholas Mello. The body shape is thinner, but she's similar height to Nicholas Mello because I'm still learning and progressing about making bodies for dolls. But still. She's the same height as Nicholas Mello, but it's like different. And also, the joints look a bit weird, but that's fine. Clothing can always just cover that up. And I will try to get the glitter off her face. So I could give her the eyes that I want to give her. White acrylic paint added to the eyes. Now it's the time to figure out how well this seashell work its way in. While the sclera in her new eyes was drying, I was figuring out the seashell and I also had this dream Bella pink wig that the doll originally came with. I put it on, she kind of looks better in that wig than with the short hair. But still, I'm just brainstorming this over. There isn't going to be brainstorm with my chef check segments in Doll or No Fridays, but. There is going to be this. It will be more about 
thinking without planning and see where the direction of this doll is going to take me to you. How will the doll end up in the end? Really? So how will I use the seashell? Good question. Maybe if I try to pierce it. All I did is push this strong needle through it full force and it didn't get damaged doing this but there is holes that I can stitch this onto the wig which is just what I wanted it to happen at least enough to be able to stitch it onto the wig time to stitch it on stitched on I think I want to add a pearl inside pearl stitched on I think I'll also add more details to the wig stitched on because it will look better I will just put on her wig sideways like this however this here I will just cut that off same with this I cut those parts off the wig and it looks like this I'll have to work in something to cover this line up so it looks less like a wig done I'm going to give her dark purple eyebrows I think it's a bit too light and just going to use a bit of black to more record to bring them out a bit more but I want the purple to be noticeable so done this and the wig the wig I had used some strawberry blonde curly parts from cheaper dolls and stitched it onto the wig and I've added purple to the yellow it and a lot of pink in real life it's a different color than the pink wig but on camera it's looking almost the same and I think I'll just stitch that on but it looks fine And I've stitched that hair weft here to make it hold its shape the way I want and there has been some purple roots coming out I've added them in for more of a realistic look And that's what I've done to the wig. And I've kept the doll's original identity by hair color and other features, which is what I wanted, kind of, but with a seashell twist. After finishing her face, and her wig I thought about clothing I've made her a dress but it's not finished yet I wanted elements of pearls and the color black in the outfit 
to make it make sense that there is a black seashell and a pearl bead in the design. So, I wanted it to match. However, her pink hair. This doll also came with this skirt. Which I'm planning to use in the dress. Just want to show you this. Although it looks like a ballet. Tutu. Well, it's too loose on her. And that feels like it could come off for any possible time because my own body makes it too loose for her now. But that can still be fixed. I can do sewing adjustments on it to make it look like a normal skirt or just simply add it to the dress. Because that was the stage where I was deciding on what she should wear. Then I cut off the velcro pieces. She won't be needing those. And it will look better on a smaller waist. Just have to stitch the back. Much better, it won't come off as easily now. Although it is removable, but it doesn't feel like it could come off any second. Which is exactly what I wanted. Although in the first place I wasn't trying to make her body thinner. Just my skills with putting beads together for doll bodies come out this way always. But anyways, it's time to think about this dress. Figure it out what to do. Then I made the black skirt on the dress shoulder and the pink one will be like the under layer of the dress to add more volume and I'm going to stitch up the back of the dress and decorate with pearls then I finished her outfit with Socks and shoes, and that's the finished product. Oh wow, I was trying to use the seashell at first, although I wasn't intending to use a dream Bella doll, just something in the dream Bella's head. Sculpt made me want to do this doll and give Dream Bella a makeover, the pink one. Which I did, and it turned out amazing. There's still lessons of the original character, but with a black seashell and pearl twist added to her person because I was trying to use the seashell and the wig turned out a really good option to get the seashell onto a doll because how in the universe will I get this seashell turn into a hairstyle without completely destroying it? 
I didn't want to destroy it, so I figured it would be a better idea to just add a seashell to the wig and then give it a pearl. Because I like those seashells so much that I just didn't want to destroy it by a hairstyle on a smaller doll. However, I'm liking what I've made, although I wish the body would have been more realistic because this body shape is making me feel a bit weird, although I kind of think that it grew on me with the clothes on. Just find it weird without clothes on, but the clothes just make it look a bit better. I have to try more body shapes in Doll or Nope Fridays, which would also be a recurring theme in this series. Not just that I motivated myself to try Dream Bella for this, the color reveal that comes with a doll, a wig, a skirt, the shoes has been swapped out for someone else to wear, but Dream Bella came with fairy wings, but I don't think my character would be a fairy, more like a pearl girl instead of a fairy. But anyways, please tell me what you think of my pearl girl that I've made with this seashell. And bye Chef Jack, see you in another video, bye!